All right, welcome to another edition of Community Replay. Uh, this is Kyle Locke, and I'm joined here today by Corey Rogers. Hello, everybody. And Clint Prentice. Hello, and welcome to Community Replay. Woo! This is fun. I like doing this. So uh, today we're uh, playing the original Prince of Persia Sands of Time for the Xbox. Love this game! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's oh. a pretty awesome game. Love this game. I actually don't, don't skip this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I um I just bought this game like kind of on a whim. I didn't really know much about Prince of Persia, and I was just like, well, I need a new game, so why don't yeah. I get this game? And it turned out to be an awesome game. You know what? I gotta say that's pretty much how uh, how how I came across this game. Um, it was just sitting there, you know, on the shelf at GameStop, and I was like, oh well, this just looks so cool. I mean. The box art alone, he just looks like a total badass. <laughs> so yeah, it it's a uh, it's a really cool game, and like I really, you know, obviously it invented the whole you know reversing time kind of thing. And yeah, frame narrative. Yeah. In video games, I guess. Yeah. What did it? Look, I can run around in circles. Okay. Oh my gosh, analog. <laughs> <laughs> Best loading screens of the business. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, I've played every single Prince of Persia since this one came out. Like I've played Sands of Time and then um, Warrior Within, Warrior Within, Two Thrones. Two Thrones, which was weird because that was the third game, but it sounded like a sequel, like a two. Right, right. It, it I guess it did. Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, oh, we're watching the same cutscene. Okay. Anyway, um, <gasps> why would you skip it? It was the same cutscene. <laughs> it was not the same cutscene. I know there was more added to it, but blah. So anyway. All right. So so basically, he's fighting a war. Uh, I would say go watch the movie, but it's a bad movie. Yeah. So anyway. Have you seen um, the movie, Corey? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Probably best that you don't. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> so they're trying to break into this uh, place, steal some Whoa. some gold or something. Um, and at this moment, I was like, all right, this game's going to be pretty cool. Um, but I'll tell you whenever I was, uh, whenever I finally fell in love with the game. I'd say, like, when I started realizing how smooth you could, um, whoa. Yeah, uh, run and jump. Run and jump and do all that kind of stuff. That was when I was like, that was really cool. This this game invented parkour in video games. Pretty much. I think I can safely say that. Get around the wall too, right? Ah. Can you say that? Yeah. What? That that this pretty much invented parkour in video games? Oh yeah, I would say definitely. It uh it, it certainly streamlined it if not invented it. Yeah. Um being able to just you know, have this kind of seamless movement was really, really awesome for the time. And on top of that, some pretty well-developed combat as well. Yeah. All around, seriously, one of my favorite games. I could play this to even today and just be so enthralled by it. I love this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, and then I played. You know, how many of these have you played, Corey? Uh, I, I haven't really played any of them. I remember when I uh, used to be living in the dorms with you, I used to watch you play this. Yeah, because I had the, um, the the one that came out for the 360 that didn't follow the storyline of this one. Oh. Which was actually a really good game, and I, yeah, I don't understand a lot of people complaining about that one. Which one? The the one that came out for like the Xbox and I believe PS3 that had you and Elika, it wasn't uh oh, it the, didn't go the with this one. 2008 remake thing. Yeah, it didn't with follow the, the story at all. Amazing art style. Very much so. I really liked that one a lot. And, yeah. And yeah. I understand a lot of people complaining about that one. This one and the 2008 one are my two favorites of the entire series. Okay. The only one that I've missed is uh, Warrior Within. Warrior Within, so you didn't play that one? No. 
It was pretty good. Um, I, for some reason, my copy has some weird problem where I get to a certain point in the game and I, like, can't go anywhere or do anything. Like, I, I'm just, like, stuck in this... I guess it's like a portal room where you can, like, go to different areas and absolutely nothing. Well, maybe you're just, you know, bad at the game. <laughs> In slow motion. All right, that was pretty cool. Well, you don't have the sands of time. Why are you running in slow yeah. motion? I don't know. I don't get it. What's going uh, on? We we need to at least get to the sands of time by the end of this replay. Yeah, I kind of show off how that works. So you can die in this one, right? You can die, yes. Yeah, but but then he's like, well, that's not how the story went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love how he's like. No, 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 no. That's um, not what happened. That, that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm lying to you right now. I can't die. <laughs> I'm too awesome. I'm standing here right now telling you a story. Yeah, how could I have died? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just pulling your chain. That's, that's how I roll. But no, you get a power called the Sands of Time, which allows you to reverse or slow down time. Yeah. Um, and... It's the best power in the world. Oh, yeah. And, uh... Oh, I love how every single time after a big battle he has to put away his sword in a slow motion kind of, yeah, that's right, I beat them all, kind of that's yeah, Okay, you know what I, I thought was really weird about this game, but also kind of badass at the same time? Every time there's like a, you know, a big moment, he always loses a piece of clothing, like, and so halfway through the game, he's pretty much <laughs> naked. Yeah, he has like no shirt on, and he's just like, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty funny. And then, like, you get to, you know, Warrior Within and Two Thrones, and, like, I, I found it interesting that, like, in this one, you you know, you take a look at the character here, and, you know, he's very, very much a teenager kind of looking character, very thin and, like, not muscular at all. But you get to the second one, and he's, like, this beefed up dude who's got, <laughs> yeah. like... Didn't the... that one have, like, a metal soundtrack? Oh, yeah, it was, it was like, totally metal. <laughs> <laughs> and then Two Thrones, they kind of, like, went up with a hybrid of the two. Yeah, that one was weird with the chain and everything. I liked Two Thrones. Um, I actually, a lot of people put it as like the, their least favorite of the trilogy, but I think actually it's my second favorite. And I think Warrior Within was probably my least favorite of them all. If I had to um, list out which ones are like my favorites, I actually really enjoyed the brand new one. Um, what Forgotten was Sands? Forgotten Sands, yeah. I, I, I actually really love that one. And I actually 100 percented the achievement list on that one because I enjoyed it so much. Wow. I got about 800 <clears throat> on that one. But, uh, yeah, um, that was a really fun one. Yeah, that one, they really beefed up the combat, I, I would say. Yeah. But the fluid movement, it, it actually felt a lot like... Um, Assassin's Creed movement, like they were using the Assassin's Creed engine to, to yeah. make that game. Yeah, uh, you know, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised because obviously they're owned by the same um, yeah company. And in the um, 2008 one, you can actually unlock. What are you doing? I don't. Where am I supposed to be going here? Are you even supposed to be climbing on those? It said to climb them. <laughs> okay, well then climb up that one. Jump to the other two. And jump on the wall? I'm guessing that's what I need to do, hopefully. <laughs> well, if not, that's that didn't happen, and we'll oh. just restart. That didn't happen. Okay. Um, <laughs> As the prince's words. Um, I guess maybe this wall. Okay. We'll try yeah, this that, one. That, looks, that looks right. There we go. <laughs> See, use your left thumb, thumbstick. Anyway. So... Um, I think this was this was a pretty good like this game had a, had some really good characters as well. Yeah, like awesome, awesome characters. Yeah, they always, is, they always try and like make the prince like this really kind of giving him always like having an attitude kind of thing. Although it's not as apparent in this one. Yeah, he's more like a sarcastic uh, teenager in a way. Yeah. Like it, well, I guess, you know, like, mid-twenties, I would say. But, like, you get to, say, the 2008 remix, or remake, and it's just like, he's always having the one-liner kind of thing going on. Well, 
that it, it, he was voiced by Nolan North, so... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda have to, uh, do that. Yeah. Okay, I, did you hear that? Did you hear that twirl sound? Yeah. It sounds exactly like the Crash Bandicoot twirl sound. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, oh, whoops. That didn't happen. <laughs> Every time we mess up, that's just, you know, that's how it goes. That didn't yep. happen. That's not how it happened. Alright, so the the movie version. Kyle, did you see the movie version? No, I did not see any. I, I usually do not see so movie adaptations. Oh, oh, this part. Okay, we need to talk about this part. <laughs> um, uh, these are these are with the, uh, the curtains, right? Yeah, I think so. With the... The pretty curtains, and you go to the fountain. I believe so. At least it's coming up, I think. Well, anyway, this like one of the big things I remember um, whenever I was uh, reading reviews on this. It was after I bought the game, actually. Um, that was cool. People were were <laughs> wowing at the uh, the fabric, how the fabric moves whenever you touch it. Like yeah. it conforms to your body and moves like real fabric. I was like, you know what? You're totally right. This is awesome. You should do some better jumping there. Yeah. He kept doing like a backflip. I'm like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta show you there where you're going. There it is. There's the sword. You're not getting there yet. No, not there yet. Gotta go through a whole bunch of other stuff to get there. The Daga of Time. That wasn't too bad of an impression. <laughs> <laughs> It's right there. I can see it. <laughs> the dagger uh, glowed. Like yeah. A blade in see the sack. Through that hole. <laughs> Probably too. Uh, let's see. <laughs> How am I supposed know. to get over there? Another. You got a wall run. I guess another wall run jump. Yep. Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're just doing it wrong. Did you guy would have got that? <laughs> I love it whenever you, you you know you drink water and that's that's your that's your health pack. Yeah, I think so that was a pretty great. cool way of going going with it. All right, let's try this again. Okay, there you go. There's a giant like pillar thing right there though. That's what I don't know. that's what I can caused hardly me to see anything. That's what the cause that's what got me to stop last time. Oh yeah, just may just jump it. That works. There you go. Wow. Oh. So you're going again. Traps. Oh no. Trap. These it's a trap. These traps were always like the funniest things ever. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> who's like, controlling these? Well, not that it's just who's controlling these. It's just like, oh, look, I just have to, you know, avoid them. Not that hard. <laughs> see here forgotten sands went a little overboard with the uh with the traps though oh they they got pretty elaborate yeah that's for sure there was one segment i had to do probably 10 times because i kept dying on it Ugh, i don't want to talk about it <laughs> what's going on here got that some, didn't happen some ledge jumping oh man what am i gonna do that. <laughs> and that. You hit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Did you see the movie? Yes. And? <laughs> I want to wipe it from my brain and never talk <laughs> about it again. Nice. It, uh, it started out the, the pretty much the exact same way this, this, uh, this game starts out. Um, except it had Jake Gyllenhaal in it, which was, you know, strike one. Um, <laughs> it's just... And then they they went the complete wrong direction. He only used the Sands of Time twice, I think. Maybe three times. Really? Um, and the second... Well, most of the movie was, uh, like, the dagger trading hands, kind of like in um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the second one. Right. Where the heart was always trading hands. They didn't know who had it. Yeah. Um, spoiler. I don't know. Who hasn't seen those? But um, anyway, when he did use it, it was it was really like, 
um, he was talking to the princess. He tried to kiss her, and then she slapped him, and so he used the sands. And really? he's like, whoa, these, these changed the, the course of time. Really? Yeah. Oh. And so then, you know, he did it again and tried to, to redo that, and then she got into a fight with him, and he was about to die, and so then he used it again. Wow. Yep, oh, okay. That was, oh, you died. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hey, that's not that's not how the story went. Let me <laughs> let me start over. See, I was you know standing here, <laughs> and then I went up the wall like this. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. What and then happened. I jumped instead of and I jumped the right way, not jumping you know off and killing myself. You know? <laughs> that's not how it yes. went. <laughs> I'm just I'm just joking. I would never do something like that. And then I was so badass, I was jumping up walls, left and right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now it was. The sands of time. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a boulder. Oh, no, it's... It's, it's Indiana a, Jones. Indiana Jones. Whoa. Indiana Jones didn't have this power. Yeah, power. that's right. He didn't, he didn't get a chance to... Uh... Nice. Woo. That was Attacker. a close one. Changes time. <laughs> you see, you know, he twirls it. What if he like threw Cut it over to his other it. hand and then like completely missed it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like you know, it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Forever. I dropped the sands of time. Why? <laughs> and that's the end of my story. <laughs> Well, time for bed, kids. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the dagger and we can check out the uh, loading screen. The loading screen, because that's, that's how we roll awesome, here yeah. on Community Replay. I seriously don't remember this many loading screens in the PS2 version. Oh. This PS2 is awesome. Father! <laughs> Father. I found this for you. I have the Visor. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> you said I could have something. Let me have the I'm dagger. I'm evil. I'm evil. Give me the dagger. No, the dagger is mine. No, his dad's just like, surely you will not, you know, keep the boy from the one prize he has gained while on this quest. <laughs> He's like, ah. Ah, oh, how dare you. I didn't know that Jafar was in. <laughs> <laughs> He's even got like the the exact same staff. Yeah, that's really funny. I never really thought about that. That's. <laughs> there are a lot of parallels to Aladdin in this game. Very much so. Are we gonna meet Farah by the end of this? Yeah. I really want. I really want to meet Farah. I thought it was really funny in the 2008 remake, at the very beginning, you hear the prince yelling out, he's like, Farah! Yeah. And then you find out it's his donkey. <laughs> <laughs> there she is, there she is, there she is. And I thought that this cutscene was just phenomenal when I yeah. first saw it. When, it. when it first came out, it was just like, whoa. It can't get better than this. <laughs> and then it did. <laughs> So that's kind of one thing I've always kind of wondered. What do you guys think about video games having cutscenes where the graphics are better in the cutscenes than in the game? Or do you prefer the cutscenes to be with the same graphics of the game? Or having just the cutscenes in the game, like Half-Life or something? What do you guys prefer? Mm, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, I'd prefer the graphics to be better uh, during the cutscenes, in my opinion. Any particular reason why? Um, it, it brings. I have to think about that one. That guy likes his sand. <laughs> yeah, buddy. See, I'm not really sure. I kind of like when games have the cutscenes during the gameplay, like in Half Life, because I think mm -hmm. it actually kind of keeps you more engulfed in the game. Um, She's a protector of the sands. <laughs> Whereas no, don't. something like Sorry, this. Big things, big things happen. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
What did I do? What did I do? And the, the clouds came forth, and the sands poured from the hourglass. The ceiling <laughs> collapsed around us. The fat man. The fat man grabbed his tummy. <laughs> it was rumbling. <laughs> With the sands of time. <laughs> he was turned into a monster. A monster of sand. <laughs> um, anyway. Big things are happening. We should focus on this. And I do like the story of how, um, this whole idea of after he starts using the dagger because he's messing with time and stuff like that it starts you know having almost like death following him because he's cheated death essentially yeah that's a pretty cool little plot for and that's what warrior within is a lot about it's just him finding a way of just trying to um keep right. his you life you gotta you gotta like stab him with the dagger yeah press triangle yep. i mean whatever why <laughs> stupid stupid button is on that fat xbox controller oh we're playing on a 360 so oh well then you know use the use the y button i know what that button is yeah considering you know it's the same button as on the xbox <laughs> but it's smaller and more easy to use did you ever use the s controller for the xbox no okay so you just know about the the really big the fat one yeah I never played with that. I've never actually used that controller once. Oh. Um, when I got my Xbox, I got one that had the S controller, which actually looks a, just like a 360 controller, pretty much. But with um, a black and white button? Yeah, with black and white buttons. You're supposed to, like, dodge those dudes. Yeah, That's do those Yeah, that, I forgot about that. That's what I would always do. Except for the guys that won't let you do it. There are some guys that they, they always block that move. Oh, that's so awesome. But, um... But, yeah, going back to, uh... Cutscenes? Cutscenes, yeah. Um... I, w I would have to say it depends on the game, to, to be honest. Right. Um... You know, if it's a, if it's a game with a silent protagonist, uh, the Half-Life style of cutscene, you know, that's it being, in, being played out in front of you, yeah. that's a good way to do it. Yeah. But, um, like, if, it, if it's story-heavy, then, um, you know, I'd like, you know, actual cutscenes. Now, would I like the graphics to be better? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of something to look forward to. Yeah, know? I kind of like, it almost seems like the, the graphics in the cutscenes always seem to be, like, what people strive to get with the next generation of consoles. Yeah. So it kind of gives you like a look forward of what what are we trying to get to? Yeah. So, yeah, I, I can agree that it, I think it depends on the game. Um, but, but I mean, uh, it's like it's like a little treat, you know? Oh man, I made it this far into the game. Now I get this really awesome cutscene <laughs> to go along with it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you guys ever watch um, the NBC show Life? No. no. Okay, it was a detective show where this guy was, uh, was um, in prison for life for 12 years before they found out that he wasn't um, actually guilty. And so he went back to work being a detective, and um, in one episode, um, like, they were trying to find someone uh, who murdered someone. I don't, I don't remember the whole story, but uh, this girl or guy, can't remember which came in and the clue was like hidden in the code of the Prince of Persia game. And oh, so she... I've seen this cutscene. <laughs> so oh my god. Play the game. Oh and god. And she was going through levels of the oh, game. Oh man. It's like, can you reach level 12 by the end of the day? <laughs> why? I don't understand why they <laughs> messed up that, like that. It's just, it was so why? strange. I don't even see how they got like the license to use the Prince of Persia name and then ruin it by saying level one, two, three, twelve. I don't... Oh no! Put your dagger in that. Uh, well, I'm full on sand, so. Oh. Okay. But okay. Anyway, it refills your sand, just so everyone knows. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, when I first saw that, I was just like, what the heck are they doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, like, so she's playing through this game. She's playing through this one, I believe. Yeah, it's this one. And, um... For they some did, like, reason, Photoshop uh, level 1, 2, and 3 over it. Yeah, they, they put, like, level 1, level 2, level... Even though there are no levels in this game, it's... No. Confusing. I don't know. It was really weird. It's dumb. People oh, don't understand go. video games. Ah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. You should probably, you know, jump. That's usually what you do in these things, right? I was just trying to figure out which way to go. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If I had the controller, I'd be, you know, almost done with the game by now. Oh, sure. There we go. Upsy daisy. Oh, nope. <laughs> so, Ubisoft was the ones who made this, right? Right. Okay. So, have you noticed like a, a pattern with um, well, Ubis Ubisoft's uh, good titles, meaning uh, Assassin's Creed, Prince of Persia, and Splinter Cell. Like there are others, but yeah, those, those are like are, the main ones. Yeah, those are the those are like the most brand named ones. Yeah. But you know they're kind of similar. Yeah, especially like Assassin's Creed and Prince of Persia. There's a big uh, similarity with those two. Yeah. With uh, the whole wall running and stuff like that. Except um, Prince of Persia does it better. Yeah. Well, I, same time I, does it better. Um. But yeah, I think that uh, there's certainly a, an extremely big similarity between the two with just kind of having different storylines um, and slightly different combat. But um, yeah, I, I did find it funny, like in the 2008 version of Prince of Persia, you could get the, it was either Ezio or Altair costume. It's probably Altair oh, really? by that. Yeah, you could unlock it. You know how um, Ubisoft has that, um, their own separate, like, awards achievement system thing yes yes on their website yes, yes i think you had to like when you signed up for it or registered or something like that you could get the altair outfit unlocked or something oh okay interesting fatty mcfatterson all right after you do this combat we should show them how the sands of time really work okay Ready? Use it now. <laughs> Unkill a person. Cor Corey had a, uh, a good question. Why are their stomachs? <laughs> they're, because they're, they're, they're filled with the, uh, the, the sands. sands of time. Oh. But yeah. it does. I don't understand why it has to be their stomach. I don't know. Uh, I don't know either. Uh, let's see here. Stupid design decision. What button is the sands of time? I don't even know. Maybe if you were paying attention to the prince while he was telling the story, you would know. Maybe. Alright. Try left bumper. There, uh, there it is. That's changed view. Okay. So, like, jump from somewhere high, almost <laughs> die, and then save yourself. I would do that just for fun sometimes. Just to, yeah. There's a um, an animation by Ego Raptor who does like Metal Gear Awesome and stuff, and he had Prince of Awesome or something like that, and uh, the joke was, "Look what I can do!" And he like runs, gets hit by a spike, and then he's just, like, <laughs> ah, 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 falling down this huge like hill, and just ah, 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 ah. and he gets to the end, uses the sands of time to reverse, and he's like, ah, 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 and he gets back to where he was. Only to run out just as he was running up the wall again, so he just got killed again. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that happened to me plenty of times. Yeah. Uh, that didn't happen. Uh, oh, you don't get your health back? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Oh, you do. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's how the sands of time work. You can slow They're down awesome. time, and you can reverse time, so... You but can only do it four times. Like uh, it just as long as you have a bar. Oh, okay. And so. you get more sands later on. So like this is what happened oh, to him. Yeah. 
<laughs> and, Go back. Uh, do I have enough to get back? And what's the camera doing? I have no idea. What is going on? I'm gonna go back as far as I can. I'm just gonna keep going until it runs out. All right. <laughs> that was weird. I think it was just because I'm in a weird spot. And Maybe the camera. it's because you're using a weird Xbox instead of a PS2. <laughs> but uh, so the camera was probably hitting the top of this little hole or something like that. So it was just like ah, I don't really yeah. Anyway, so I think that's a, a good look at uh, Prince of Persia. Since... The best Prince of Persia of all time? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite. Yeah, it's your favorite, and it's certainly my second favorite, I would say. It... Yeah. I love it. Too bad we didn't get to see him with a shirt off. <laughs> that's a weird thing. I didn't say that. That didn't happen. <laughs> all right, <laughs> stay, stay tuned for Replay Roulette. All right. Welcome back to Replay Roulette. Corey is at the controls and has no idea what we're playing. Nope. These are the guys who did that one game. Yeah. What, was it Demon Souls? Oh, it's got a great from, soundtrack. From Software Presents. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> is this? Oh, this is an armor core. No, it's not armor core. However, it is a mech game. Oh, Time Crisis. Well, no, not Time no, Crisis. No, not Time but, Crisis. Um, yep, that's definitely a mech game. No, um. <laughs> it used to be in the arcades. What is going on? No, it's not virtual on. Actually, I think I saw a glimpse of the name, actually. There in the, uh, the cutscene. I don't know, the webcam is freaking out. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I don't think we really explained to people that, uh, people who are coming in through the, uh, through Skype or whatever, we usually just use a webcam in order for them to see what's going on. We've tried getting so that they could just see a straight feed of what's going on, but it's just... If one program is using the uh, the capture card, then I can't record it with the other program. Murakumo. What the hell? <laughs> I have never heard of this game in my life. <laughs> it's a very interesting game. Go ahead and press start, and we'll uh, go new game and get started. It sounds like a Godzilla villain. <laughs> Have you ever played this game before? Yeah, the, this is the weird thing about it. since it's on 360. Um, since most games or a lot of games have problems with compatibility issues, this game will not save on your 360. Like it doesn't. What? It will not save. Like you go to turn the control or the console off, you turn it back on, yeah. your save's gone. So you have if you want to keep playing through it, you have to play it on three, the original Roids? Xbox. Roids. So Didn't scenario. I just say welcome to Roids. I don't know. <laughs> These are not the best loading screens in the business. No. Prince Persia's are quite quite uh, <laughs> more improved. Well, at least we know the day. It's like an Independence Day knockoff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we just skip that? Okay. Oh, but I was interested in the story. <laughs> yeah, the very, very bad story. Actually, for the time, like... This game was pretty no cool with uh, how big the <laughs> with how big the um, the city <laughs> is actually. I'm sorry, I was laughing at the voice acting. Yeah, the voice acting sucks. <laughs> Catch me through to cloud zero five. Wow. Cloud zero five. Wow. Uh, cloud zero five. Oh, yeah, it's actually man. a pretty fun game. Why don't game. we just go to cloud nine? <laughs> No, I don't think you can probably skip it. Yeah. <laughs> it's really fast paced, that's for sure. Can I control where I'm going? <laughs> I think right now, no. Lighting's not half bad. There we go. 
Go after him. This is like a fast-paced Superman 64, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get through. The, go through the rings. <laughs> uh, how to shoot? What? What are the controls? A is to shoot. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Stop. Sound new hot. Wait, there we go. How big is this city? Yeah, that was the one thing when I watched, when I first like heard about this game and I watched some videos of it, I was just like, man, this looks really cool. Because it looks really uh, detailed with the environment and stuff, and it looks really fast paced. But well, like for the time, yeah, this is pretty detailed. Yeah, it, but like Game Informer gave it like a four or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I'll check the score. Yeah, what's this, what's the, the game name of this game? Least? Murakudio? Murakumo. M-U-R-A-K-U-M-O, I think. Okay. Renegade Mech Assault? Yeah. Renegade Mech Pursuit. I'm sorry. Come on. You almost got him. Got yeah. Him. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mission complete. Yeah, there you go, sir. <laughs> GameSpot right. said uh, it was one of the worst games to come out for Xbox that year. <laughs> Ouch. Um, let's see. Overall ranking of 50%. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And Game Informer gave it a 5.75 out of 10. Nice. Buy this game or did someone buy it for you? Or? Uh, I found it at like GameStop really cheap. Oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and I remember like always watching like the videos of it. I was like, this looked really cool. So why don't I just you know buy it for a buck ninety nine or whatever? Virtual Hunt's my favorite that game. I don't know if you guys ever played that. I did. I did play Virtual on for the Dreamcast. It was a, uh, it was an interesting game for me. Like a lot of, um, how do you? Oh, let's go into the history. There was history in there, but I wanted to see the history. Fine. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 history. Let's let's read up. Radiation accident, Middle uh -oh. East oil war, uh -oh, SPS bad, project, bad going down. non proliferation treaty, new city defense plan. All right then. That's some that's some compelling history right there. Very much so. Deep backstory in this mech world. Okay, so uh, no. This I want to go with that mech. one. Go oh, to machine go. Mission. mission. I didn't even see that. Just because it was clouded by everything else on that cluttered yeah. screen, bleeping screen. Do. The mechs just Command work with uh, just one stick, or do you yeah. have to use both? I use both. The ones that okay. Gave you those. They call them cloud breaker units. Oh my god! <laughs> and here we go. You can't even get up high enough to go to the clouds. Yeah, you get like a boost. So I guess the creators of Call of Duty made a map of where uh, Osama Bin Laden was killed. Really? Yeah, they, they made an actual map. Wow. Uh, somebody somebody uh, made a Source Engine map already. Like, uh, no, not a Source Engine. What, what am I talking about? A uh, Counter-Strike map out of it. <laughs> I think the Come object on. is to not hit buildings. Pursue the 3D images. Oh man, three dimensional images. I was big for this time period. <laughs> yeah. 3D? What? Let me get my glasses. <laughs> Go in the water, see what happens. Yeah, I, I've never been a fan of uh, mech games. No? 
It depends on the game for me. Like, yeah, like I was saying, I, I was about to say, a lot of mech games to me are too slow. <laughs> there was one that, for oh. some reason, uh, was downloaded onto my mom's computer. And uh, this was like years ago. Uh, I think it was like five years old. Um, and for some reason, you know, we had a joystick for the computer. I have no idea why. Because <laughs> I was five years old and was too busy, you know, playing, I don't know, Game Boy games to care about a, a PC mech game. So I don't know why we had, you know, like basically a flight stick in our house. Right. Anyway, we had this mech game and it was incredibly dumb, but I couldn't stop playing it. <laughs> it was really slow and I never knew how to shoot new one. I think the only ones I've really actually enjoyed like this one is this one isn't that horrible. It's cutting into that other building. Um but uh Mech Assault for the original Xbox wasn't too bad. Have you played any of the uh, Armored Core games? I have played like Armored Core four, I think. Is that the one for the three sixty? No, it's for PS2, and my friend had it, and, like, I thought it was pretty cool, but, um, again, like, it's really, a lot of mech games are really slow for me. Gears um, of War is a mech game, right? <laughs> or is that just slow? Don't say the to Corey, that's, like, it's one of his favorite games. It is. Oh, no, I like them, it's just yeah. a little slow. They're, they're bulky, that's for sure. What do you think about, uh, Zone of Enders for the PS2? Zone of the Enders was cool. That was a cool game. That was a nice, fast-paced one. Never played it. Yeah, Zone of the Enders was really cool. Um, what are some other mech games? Transformers, War of Cybertron. <laughs> oh my god! I remember playing uh, in Right Triggers. Use boost. <laughs> wow, Corey. There you go. And you like hold it down, but you only have so much. But um. Try and think. I did play the demo for like the first Transformers game, and I was like, "Really? No." <laughs> the only cool part was watching it transform. <laughs> Michael Bay knows his explosions. I think that was be pretty awesome. The third movie. Yeah. It actually does look like it Don't would be even. horrible. No, not even. Are you talking about the third Transformers movie? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave now. I watched the first one, thought it was awful. Second one. Watched the second, or didn't watch the second one because I didn't want to watch any more terrible stuff. Oh god, I was dragged to the theater to watch that. I did not want to give Michael Bay my money, but I did. And then the third one, I was just, I, I, I haven't been very excited about it, but I saw a trailer for it and I was like, well, it, I don't know. Wait, are you running the exact same path as the last mission? I have no idea. <laughs> I think you are. He did go into the uh, the water area, I okay, do know that. Do that. This is this different, part. though. Look out for the subway cars. Yeah. This reminds me of uh, the part in Dark Knight where they're... Uh, the chase scene. And he flips the 18-wheeler? Yeah. Because, you know, there were mechs in that part. Yep. You saw those, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. The two mechs just fighting alongside with uh, Batman. You know, the, that flip of the 18-wheeler was an incredibly hard effect for Chris Nolan to do. Oh, yeah. Like, he wanted to actually flip an 18-wheeler and head over back yeah. of it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And, and so they explosion. actually did it, but it was incredibly difficult to do. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Mission complete. So they made film history by being the first to flip Look an 18 Look at that water. <laughs> that water looked really bad. This entire game looked really bad. <laughs> but you got an S rank. Nice. Which I never, I never thought was like the best rank. I don't see how an S can be the best. I don't know. Super. <laughs> Super rank, awesome rank, um, boring rank, crappy rank, dismal rank. Yeah. Does that, does that work? Yeah. And then just. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, I mean, you think about it, whenever you get an F, what's the first thing you say? <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, I think that's a good look at uh, Murakumo. So, Godzilla's nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for uh, joining us for this uh, community replay. I thank Corey Rogers for being here. And Clint Prentice. Oh, well, you're very welcome, dear sir. Yep, and uh, we will see you on the next episode. See you guys later. Later. Bye.